What's poppin' real 16 TV? It's Cuz OP here back with another reaction. This time I'm reacting to Adam 22 fires and bans another employee from No Jumper for life. Um, the screen recording is going to start in three, two, one. Video playing Dude, now. Just fire. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. I didn't know Flacco had his own merch. That's new, but we're gonna continue. And blacklisted another No Jumper employee. But before we can discuss the firing and blacklisting, we have to discuss everything that led up to this moment. Now, we have to rewind a little bit to go to a podcast episode where WAC 100 would announce that some goons pulled up on a No Jumper employee called Comper Raider and essentially chased out Comper Raider's homie yeah. and took his Cartier and his watch, all because... So these were already previous Flacco videos that he did, but it's obviously No Jumper banter, of course. But, uh, yeah, Comparator and WAC 100, they were having a short beef. Comparator came back on No Jumper for a while, so it wasn't like he was fully back on there, but he was, he was coming by, so I'm confused. Comparator was on No Jumper talking trash about WAC 100 and his hood. Why oh, didn't come out and help his homie? Who? Man, that's his homie right there. Why didn't he come out and help his homie? You should have came out and helped your homie. This is all wait, wait, this that stuff that we've seen before. If you've been paying attention, if not, out of an alley, being chased in a car. Who are you you're telling me this is who? Man, check this out, nigga. Is you, that Compa Raider? Hey, I bet you he left. He ain't got a Cartier. Why's he got no shirt on? Listen, man, stop playing, boy. On some real, like it's gonna go somewhere you don't want it to go. Stop playing, homie. Where's the watch? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I shit. know who was telling you about this, too. You know why the, eh, eh, moving, right? We went outside Blood's house. I sent Blood a video of his car. Blood was so scary, he sent his homie outside. We stripped his homie. Listen, man. Oh, In great he detail. He sit out somewhere, man. Oh, a few days ago, I did an interview on No Jumper with some of Wack homies. And I'm not saying it's the same watch Wack 100 is describing, but one of them showed up with a similar watch on their wrist, all right? I'm just I have saying. to watch that interview. So, WAC 100 and Comparator have sort of been engaged in this feud where it looks like it's getting serious. Now, Comparator will come on no jumper and deny the whole story and say that all of it is cap and none of it is true and that nobody chased him out of his home or beat up one of his homies and took their watch. There is a... The whole narrative that he that Wack was coming with that like somebody got jumped outside. Oh, someone got robbed. Hey, I I'm moving out. I'm doing this. Hey, this, this who's saying? This who's fabricating a whole story, dog? Like this who's painting a whole cartoon? The yeah. I don't know what the truth is, bro. Now the watch that, that was described by Wack 100 is in possession of Wack 100 homies. I've seen it with my own eyes. And As somebody has been lied on before, I know what it feels like to be like, nigga, they lying on me, and I didn't sound like Getting that. rushed and stripped, all right? So I don't know what's the truth. But because of that, Compa still has an issue with WAC 100, and he's been calling WAC 100 out for the fade. So in a new released video where him and Lush One was on uh, IG Live, you know, Compa is saying F WAC, F this other dude, but by surprise, he also said F Adam too. Public service announcement. Lucky. Good start. Whack 100. I want to say Adam, but I don't know because I'm not. What did capable. Adam do? I don't know. I'm a, I kind of want to know. Yo, Adam too, dog. I fuck with up and say it's like. Mm. What happened? Why? Why? Yo, you What's you going on? Look, you can see the glass in the video. That nigga drunk. That nigga drunk. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. If it was a, I feel like he's saying a lot of this shit cause he under the influence. Cause people do say fuck people while they're sober, but he wouldn't have to think about it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I feel like I should say it too. That you drunk to the motherfucker. You should know who you want to say fuck you. Oh, fuck no, tell me what happened. What the fuck happened? Tell me. Talk about it. Lush was already been fired once. You can literally see the trauma on Lush's face. He's like, yo, bro, what happened? He <laughs> like, bro, you about to get bro, fired, bro. Bro, 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 bro clarify, man. I'm not a part of this. <laughs> Which, Compa Noah Lush situation is like a trash thing to do to put Lush in this situation right here because even though Lush is 100% loyal, they didn't say anything bad about mm -hmm. Adam, it could still come across as just Lush being there, as Lush co-signing what Compo is saying. 
So let's try to get him to expound <laughs> so he can explain his own personal reason for why he's going off on Ado. So it can appear more visible that, that this is a mm. personal thing and he's not sharing or co-signing the yeah. sentiment so at all. It has to be some stuff that's happening behind the scenes. Like it has to be something that's been going on through messages and different things like that. Because I don't really... I don't I don't pay that much attention to the comparator because I ain't gonna lie to you. As far as the no jumper verse stuff goes or any of the YouTube verse thing, he not really high up on the I'm going to go watch comparator shit. Like I'm really not. But um I'm assuming it's behind the scenes because I feel like I haven't seen one video saying showing where they they argue publicly on stream before. Like, you know, DW didn't argue but he came on stream and he uh he talked about the little like uh the bad bitch comment and all that stuff, but he came on stream and talked about it. I ain't seen Comparator come on stream and say anything negatively against Adam, so it has to be behind the scenes. Speaking of DW, I'm telling you, somebody gotta make a beat for bro, and they gotta use the Darkwing Duck shit. Uh, when there's trouble, call DW. I'm telling you, that shit gonna hit. Now, somebody Comparator use that, for real. Explain, Give that uh, to that nigga, for real. Reason why Tell him I, please, put my name here. With please, Adam give it to because him. Adam Whoever called makes him a like a month oh, ago. I ain't gonna lie, the bleep, you the bleep shit, I'm gonna be 100. When you add that bleep, the boondocks is so much funnier with the bleep. Like when they just be cussing, it'd be like, ah, oh, whatever. But the bleep, that shit makes it so much more like beep, beep. It sounds so much worse. Because I didn't even know what he said. I had to realize it afterwards. And what the you caught with the homie, bro? You know what, Because Adam call me gay. The f what, you want to suck this dick? Adam, Adam. This dick and he ain't gonna suck it so but I do not want you to suck it. This is what I call post-podcast clarity. Dude. This is one of those things where you're engaged in a conversation in a podcast and you're having a good time. You don't really view the conversation as anything negative. And then you... I feel bad for him because it's like, bro, you probably wasn't going to get too many opportunities like that. And I feel like you kind of squandered it with this. Leave the podcast and you go home and then you have your street dudes calling you and wanting to chastise you for having fun because street dudes hate fun. Listen, there's, fun is a street dude kryptonite, bro. How dare you smile, right, more than once a day? They hate it. So when you go home after having a great and funny podcast conversation, the street dudes will call you and start saying, bro, how you let Adam call you gay on a podcast, Holmes? Hey, bro, nah, that's not cool. We not rocking with that, bro. You're supposed to go back and check him. I mean, you could do that, or you could just be like, fuck it, and keep doing YouTube, you know what I'm saying, at a high level, at a pretty good platform, and try to shake hands with some people, make some friends, you know what I'm saying, M make make your time there worth your time, just in case he ever does fire you, but I don't know, it seemed like you got fired way before you could do any of that, so, and I don't even think you should have, uh, uh, you should subscribe or choose to get fired anyways. I think you should just like run its course. Enjoy your time there. Don't don't be disrespectful towards your end. Just get the fuck on. Like you, you don't have to be rude. Just be like, I don't wanna be here no more. I mean shit. That's the best you can do. I bro, I, I don't wanna be here no more. So I'm gone. That's really all you can do. Which is what I believe happened to Kumpa, because in the moment you can tell Kumpa was having a pretty good time. It didn't look like he was insulted at all by Adam calling him gay or insinuating that he was gay. Yes, I'm, not I'm not saying, respecting the one mic thing. Right I'm not saying you're trans. Yeah, I'm, respecting I'm not saying that you secretly want to become a woman. But when I hear a story about you hiding in the bathroom when there is a woman who wants oh, to have sex on. with you. Thank you! It makes me Thank think you. maybe you're a secret homo. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. I made you with this. There could be something wrong with the woman. He could have heard secrets about the woman to where he like, I don't know if I want to do this no more. Or he could have had a girl. And he, he, even though he thought he wanted to do it, it hit him like shit. Nah, a girl wouldn't like that. Fuck that. I'm just going to leave it alone. A lot of shit could have went there. But at the same time, you know what you're getting at with Adam. Like he going to joke. And he continuously says at points in time he going to play. I mean, I wouldn't like it. But I'm going to fire some of these motherfuckers back off. Like, 
that's the best thing you could do because you mo you lose in these type of roasting situations when you start this is how you know when a motherfucker lose when you when you see people cracking jokes back and forth when he start being like what you mean by that it like like he don't know how to say a joke back no more he just start talking about other shit or he trade the joke like or you, what your bitch has doing talking with your blah 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 it's like that's that's when you know a motherfucker can't take it the back he then lost and it didn't hurt his it hurt his self esteem he don't want to deal with this shit no more. <laughs> Gay. From what it appears, Carver was having a pretty good time. It wasn't disrespectful. It wasn't viewed or interpreted as disrespect. It was interpreted as homies kicking and having a podcast, man. Feel me? But that post podcast, I ain't gonna lie. Is always gonna I'm not going to 100% agree with that because the way Swifty Blue was like, hey, this dude ain't gay. And they were supposed to be in a disagreement before that because I guess Swifty Blue was cool away. So they were supposed to be in a disagreement before that. I don't think it's necessarily like you know what i'm saying i don't think he would sa save dude if he didn't think he realized that bro wasn't taking that shit well you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure adam after a minute realized but it's like he probably would be like well if you can't take it you're not staying here i'm not dealing with motherfuckers getting super mad. like it's okay to get mad at me but when you taking it to heart and doing all this extra shit he probably getting tired of that shit bro i get you so the best thing you can do as a podcaster bro is not have any street friends all right Street friends, they hate when you have fun. Trust me, I know. I've seen street... Not even street friends. Regular friends hate when you have fun. Hell, regular friends hate that shit too. And I'm not even going to act like I haven't been... I haven't been guilty of being like, well, damn, this nigga having fun. And I ain't having no fun. Everybody guilty of the shit. It's a, it, You know what I'm saying? It's um, a sin of man. But... I do my best to try to avoid being that way, and I don't feel like a lot of other people do, because I sometimes you run into some people and be like, damn, you hate everybody, what is you, stink meaner? A lot of boondocks jokes in this episode, I ain't gonna lie to you, shout out to boondocks. Podcasters come to no jumper, bruh, and you could tell they're having a good old time. They, bro, 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 they're having fun with the conversation, even like interviews, bro, they're having fun with the interview, going back and forth, and then after the interview, bro, here come the Debbie Downers and their street homies talking about how you let Adam Sucks play you, bro. And now, it's like a thing now, right? Dudes go up to No Jumper, and it's like a bag yeah, of Yeah, it's like somebody it, goes up to No Jumper, they wait till the Adam does something they don't like, and it's almost like somebody wants to be the first group of people, and he probably should worry about that. It's almost like somebody wants to be the first group of people to actually scare Adam or do some crazy shit up there, and it's like, nigga, I don't get what people don't understand about this shit. Adam probably, I wouldn't say like me, he, he's his own version or whatever, but it's in a similar, and I, if I was in a similar position, I'm gonna be like this. Realistically, I'm a good debater. We can have a real conversation. I'm not just gonna randomly sock you. Like, that's not really what's gonna happen with me. It never happens with me. It just don't, that's not really what happened. What really happens is people be like, we, we're gonna have a conversation. What you wanna fight, we can fight. You, all right, let's do it. I ain't going I don't hit people that don't want to fight. I don't hit fragile old men that I could really hurt. I just don't do that type of shit. Like it's not it's not my type of shit. So what I'm generally what I'm generally getting at with that or whatever is Adam when people come into the building, Adam probably isn't trying to fight no fucking body because he's like, look, we can have a conversation about this. And if both of us don't agree, it doesn't mean the rules the rules that you grew up with apply. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause it doesn't mean well, if we can't find an agreement, we we gotta fight. I say I I say that generally because I'm like if I'm sitting here talking to somebody and they're so upset that we got fight, I'm gonna be like, well, do you want to fight? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to fight? Fuck it. Cause I'm I'm the type of person where I don't really I don't really mind it. I go to boxing, fight niggas I don't know. I don't I don't mind. I wrestled wrestled niggas I didn't know. It sounds weird, but you know what I mean. I slam niggas on their head. So like I did the shit. What I'm generally saying with all that shit though is. <coughs> I don't mind confrontation. I really don't mind it. But I'm not bringing the heat, and I don't think Adam is like that neither. I think Adam might talk a lot of shit, but it's not really like he's throwing a stone and hiding his hands because he's putting the shit all across motherfucking YouTube. And I'm, that goes for any of the top YouTubers, from the ADs to the t rails to the whoever. It's not really like they're throwing a rock and hiding their hands and unless they're going up under a rule of, like, we need to go fade with these people. If you're, if you're under, if y'all both... That level of person to where y'all don't mind doing that shit, go handle y'all business. But you you can't bully on a motherfucker that don't want to do it. Some people just talk shit with no intention to fight you. That's just realistic. You, and you gotta know that. 
or you're going to end up with your ass in jail. If you don't let Adam sex pay you, right? So because of Carpenter Raider's reaction to telling Adam to suck his D, etc., etc., Adam took to his Instagram to essentially blacklist and ban Carpenter Raider from the No Jumper building, right? He's been exiled for good. You know, it oftentimes does not benefit you. It's <laughs> one for you Especially when you're like tolerating them in an environment that they don't deserve to be in. Like, for instance, Comper Raider, I already realized a long ass time ago that you can't podcast your way out of a wet paper bag with scissors in your hands. I sound like a lush, you know, saying some shit like that. Woo, tang, woo, tang, whatever. Compa, you suck <laughs> at podcasting. Like, legitimately. Terrible. <laughs> like, the worst, the worst you ever did. No cap. The worst. And yeah. I see you even not really my podcasting. name, but I gave you so much light. Everyone who knows about you knows about you through me. Through me giving you an opportunity. And you go diss me? Uh, okay. You're blacklisted for life. And reminder, you suck. This is cold. Yeah. This I mean, you can't even get on if somebody else trying to bring you up. But I ain't never heard of a blacklist for life. Mean it, bruh. For life? For life. Even I mean, in 50 years, he can't even show up to the 50 year no jumper reunion for life? Yeah, he done. Oh, no, this is cold. This is. This. Nah, I don't think it's cold. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right there. I don't think it's cold. I think it's fair. <clears throat> Just because in this certain situation, it's like, bro, I actually gave you an opportunity that changed your life. As somebody that's, I can't really say nobody then took me somewhere and was like, we gonna do this and this is gonna change your life. And my life actually bolstered. Everything I had to do, I had to do like, on my, <clears throat> literally on my own. Nobody was giving out no handouts, nothing like that. What T Grizzly said, I asked niggas to plug me. Niggas act like they couldn't hear me. Swear to God, so I couldn't even make it doing some bullshit. It's just like, it's like those opportunities, you can't waste them like that. You can't waste them. There's people out there that dream to go to No Jumper or dream to be on a, a, a back on Fig, a Fig Munity Worldwide, uh, Charlemagne the God's Brilliant Idiots to 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 the the other one that's kind of going kind of out the out the way but it, um, I can't think of it right now. I used to listen on Sirius Radio, but I can't think of it. But people dream to be on these platforms. People then spent their whole life from journalists to people for me, I like I thought about YouTube before it was even popping. I just was sitting there like, man, I don't nobody around me understood technology. I had to figure it out. So like it's like people people are dreaming about this shit and you in a position where you just got to walk in the building, bro. And you gonna go that far? You didn't even have to say that. You could have just off air say, "Hey, I ain't gonna come around no more, bro. I ain't really fucking with you no more." You could have said that. No ban. So as you got back good, you let you know you back in the building. But it's like you chose to to literally bite the hand that fed you. So I don't, I don't really I don't see nothing wrong with it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause I'm a I'm a loyal person. Cause I ain't gonna I don't know. I don't know. This shit, this shit targeting some other shit with me while I'm thinking about it. I'm over here getting to my own personal shit. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share. Continue to fuck with me. Holler at me. Bye.